The purpose of the offset path command is to offset a given path to a user specified amount. This is one of the most commonly used commands found in Illustrator. Let's take a look at how this feature works. Now I'm beginning this video with the offset.ai file already open on my computer. You can see here that this is just uh, outlined shapes that I'm using as a reference point because we want this to appear as a headline uh, in another project. And what I'd like to have here is I'd like to have a path that also appears outside and inside of these shapes, or I should say on both sides uh, of these shapes. So what I'm going to do uh, to start, I'm going to select this first shape, and I'll go ahead and zoom in on this so it's a little bit easier to see here. And what I'm going to do, the offset path command is found under the object menu, under the path submenu. And I'm going to choose offset path from the list. And what we could do, uh, we can define an amount that we're going to offset this path to. Now I'm going to turn my preview on. And my offset, you can adjust your offset. You know, we can use our keyboard, our up and down arrow keys if we wish. Or you can type a specific amount inside of here. So I'm just going to type 0.1. And the miter limit determines how the corners of these paths are going to miter. So I'm going to leave it set to the default of 4. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now what that does, by default, it's filling that new shape with the color that I'm using. Now I actually don't want a fill, but I want a stroke applied. So I'm going to click this button here, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Shift X. And I'm going to swap the stroke and fill color. And you can see that two new paths have been created, uh, one on the outside, if you will, and one on the inside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my stroke weight to two points to kind of match the original size. And you can see that by offsetting those paths, these are essentially two separate shapes that are grouped together. If I go to Object and choose Expand, I could expand the stroke and fill to break them apart. Now they're individual elements. But I'm going to go ahead and undo that. That way they remain as, as one unit. And then what I need to do is repeat that process for the remainder of these shapes. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. And I'm just going to go ahead and select the remaining shapes. I'm going to go to Object, Path, and I'm going to choose Offset Path. And we're going to offset it to a value of 0.1. Click OK. And then again, we're going to swap the stroke and fill. I'll use the keyboard shortcut Shift X. And I'll just change my stroke weight to two points. And now you can see that using that offset path command has really made quick work of creating this really cool headline for these shapes. If I were to try to do that manually or in other ways, it would be a lot more difficult to do. A lot of people might try to scale a copy of the shapes. But you'll find quickly that oftentimes using the scale tools, the distortion is not symmetrical like we get with the offset path command. So as you can see, offset path makes quick work of creating a new path based off of an existing piece of artwork. This feature becomes more useful and necessary than you realize. I'm sure you'll find it as useful as I do.